Hello everyone, myself Sonendu De. Let's have a quick demo on how to export data from Azure Prop Storage, transform and load the data into the database using Apache Spark Pool in Azure Synapse Analytics. Let's start. Now I am in my Azure Synapse workspace. Let us go to the Synapse Studio. So in the Synapse Studio, first let us create the Apache Spark Pool. So for that, let us go to the Manage tab and click on the Apache Spark Pools. Let us click the new Apache Spark Pool button to create the Spark Pool. Here first we have to give our name, POC Spark Pool. Next we have to select the node size family. By default memory optimized is selected. Next we have to select the node size of the cluster. In the node size we have several options, small to medium to large. For this demo we are selecting the small node size. Next we can enable or disable the auto scale capacity. Let us disable it for this demo. Next we have to select maximum number of nodes in the pool. So for this demo let us skip the number of nodes minimum. So we are selecting as the minimum. So the number of nodes is 3 only. So in this pool we have only 3 nodes and each of the node size is small. And the estimated cost is this Indian currency per hour. So here we can also allocate the executor dynamically. But for this demo let us keep it as disabled. So this spark pool contains total 3 nodes and this is the configuration of each node. Now let us review and create it. So this is now in progress. It takes 1 to 2 minutes. Now this spark pool is created. Now let us go to the monitor tab. Here under the monitor you can see the spark pool. From here we can see there is no resource is allocated to this pool. Here allocated vicory is 0. Here allocated memory is 0. So till now there is no resource is allocated to this pool. So billing does not start just after the creation of the spark pool. When we attach this pool to a notebook and run the notebook then spark session will start. From there we have to pay for the entire duration of the spark session. So when the spark session will be started at that time the resource will be allocated to this pool. Now let us create a notebook. So to create the notebook first let us go to the data tab. Under the linked option we already connected to the Azure Data Lake Gen2 account. In the Gen2 account we have a container called sales parquet. This is the sales product parquet file we will be exploring via the Apache Spark pool. Now let us create a notebook out of this file. Let us right click it and create a new notebook and load it to the data frame. Now this notebook will load the data from the sales product parquet file. This is the path of the file and this is the format of the file parquet. Now let us attach the spark pool to this notebook. I am just selecting POC spark pool here. Here see this is saying not started. There is no current session started. A new session will automatically start using the configured setting. So once we click this run all option a spark session will be created. Now let us click this option. Now starting Apache spark session. So this will take few minutes. This Spark API will read the data from sales product parquet file and load this into the data frame. After that we will be displaying the data from the data frame. Now the notebook is running on this Spark pool. Now all the data from the sales product parquet file is displayed here in the table format. This is all the data from that parquet file. So this is the basic step to export the data from a parquet file using the PySpark on the Apache Spark pool. This display function is used to display the data from the data frame. Now let us see the schema of the data frame. df dot train schema. Now let us run it. So this is the schema of this sales product parquet file. Now we have all the data in the data frame. Now let us load this data in the Spark database. So for that we have to create a Spark database. First a new database for DB will be created. Next one new table product details will be created under that database. Next the data frame data will be loaded to that new table. Now let us run this query. Now this is running. Now this command is executed successfully. Now let us go to the workspace. Click the lake database. Let us refresh it. Here see this product DB is created. This is the product DB. Let us expand it. This is the product details table. Now let us view the data from the product table. Now let us run this query to see the data from the product details table. So these are the data those were loaded into the product details table. And we saw this data while we export the data from the sales product parquet file. Now let us perform some aggregation on this data. Here let us count the product for each category. 
so for that we will be creating group by on the category column so in this query we are counting the data for each category so this is group by category select category count as the total count the data of this query will be loaded into this data frame next the data of this data frame will be loaded into this new table dot db dot product count so now let us run the query now let us check this table here now let us refresh it so here you can see the product count table this is the product count this is the product count now let us view the data so to view the data let us run this query here is the total count of product for each category this is the category this is the total count so in this demo first we export the data from the parquet file using the spark tool next we load that data into the spark database table after that we perform some aggregation on the table and load the aggregated data into the new table so this is the new table product count so this is how we export the data from the data layer and perform some aggregation and load into the spark database hope this video helps you thanks for watching